Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, me and my friend Charles, we're gonna check out uh, the Santa Lourdes Shrine. So let's go check it out. Wow, check this out. Actually got the candles burning in here. It's kind of hard to see the meter. So this way, um, so it came from the ground. Oh yeah? And that's what they use for the baptism? Oh yeah, it's working well. It's uh, fresh. And you can drink it. Oh yeah? And this is supposed to be like a heating well. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's pretty cool, but I wonder what made him decide to make this place a... a uh, shrine. Was it the well? This was probably created back during the Spanish times, right? Yeah, the, the fence here was just reconstructed. Oh, yeah. But it was just that area there that's naturally uh, that way. I'm surprised they don't uh they don't put the incense over there mm -hmm. on that spot over there. These are really old lace. I don't know when they have kind of this. Oh yeah. There's another little cave over there too. That's interesting. Hi everybody! Uh, me and Charles are cruising around the, the island and 
right now we're at Tank Beach. It might be a little windy, but there's nothing I can really do about that. But here, check out Tank Beach. Charles has got this trick where he coaxes the crabs out of the <laughs> shell by breathing on them. <laughs> now we're at Marine Beach. This is the party area here where people can have their little parties. Then there's a little path we can walk down here to the beach. Where? Where? Oh yeah, no, those are people. Okay, so people fishing where you're not supposed to be fishing. <laughs> That looks like a people, but it also looks like a rock. Yeah, it looks like maybe somebody made a statue or something. It looks like a guy holding a spear. No, that's actually a guy with a pole. <laughs> he moved. <laughs> Me and Charles found a spot to hang out and drink some Corona. If you're thinking, man, all this guy does is hang out on the beach and drink Corona. <laughs> yep, yep, that's what I do. <laughs> you gotta check these waves out.
Hi everybody. I'm at the top of the highest landmass in Saipan. Mount Top Tapu Chao. Tapu Chao. Okay, check this out. <laughs> this uh, I'm literally standing right now on the, the highest peak in Saipan. Those islands over there, that's Tinian, and then that other island way over there is Goat Island. This is Susupe. You can see the lake. There's all the boats. Down there is Garapan. I'll show you that a little better. And then look at this. You can see all of the island from here. Kagman over there. view from the highest peak in Saipan. Well, I had a really awesome day today, cruising around the island, and uh, I figured I'd end the day with a nice little barbecue. So that's what I'm working on now. Nice little barbecue. Sun's just set. It's 
really peaceful out here. So I'm making me a little barbecue. I'm gonna cook me up some shrimp and a hamburger. And of course I got Corona. Yeah, it's probably hard for you guys to see, so I'm using my flashlight to show you. Okay, I'm cooking, I'm flame broiling the burger. It's got garlic and salt and pepper in it. And then uh, I'm sauteing the shrimp with uh, garlic and butter. And then I'm gonna put them on a skewer and braise them with the fire. But that's what I got going right now. And there's boats going out. That's what the motor sound is. Okay, so this is what I got. The burgers on there. And then I got all the shrimp. Uh, all the shrimp have been marinated in uh, garlic and butter, almond butter. So it's got a little bit of, di of a different taste than regular butter and it doesn't have canola oil and it's got almond butter. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna taste really good and I didn't spend that much money for this stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna braise it on the fire so the butter's gonna the butter's gonna uh, add a extra flavor to it when it braises off and that's the whole idea behind it it's hot though that's what I got that's a good end of a day. It's almost done. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's uh, they're starting to brown off real nice. And when the butter toasts off like that, it's like the same like when you butter toast and you toast it. You know how it enhances the flavor? Well, I chopped up fresh garlic and, and almond butter and mixed it in there let them saute in there for a little while and then I'm braising it off so it so that the butter has a better flavor and I tasted one stick already and it's awesome man yeah I'm gonna shine the flashlight down here see if you can see a little better uh, I like my shrimp crispy brown when I cook it off with uh, garlic and uh, uh, fresh garlic and uh, almond butter these ones I just did they're not quite done yet but those are done these are perfect I, I had a couple of them already they taste fantastic man. so yeah so this is how you do it man I sauteed them off in the garlic butter with uh, fresh chopped garlic and almond butter and then I toasted them off on the on the grill and it came out perfect so I just wanted to use a flashlight so maybe you could see these a little better because they are delicious. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.